Ken Viard from Pilot Partner here. Today we're going to talk about aircraft scheduling using the Pilot Partner fleet management system. We're going to cover how the schedule system works, how you get it set up for each of your pilots and members that are in your fleet. We're going to talk about how to actually make a reservation and what that looks like and what devices you can use to make that reservation. Then we're going to talk a little bit about some of the advanced features such as backup reservations, maintenance reservations, and the schedule rules that Pilot Partner will enforce through this integration. Scheduling is automatically available for every aircraft that's in uh, Pilot Partner. So if you're using it for your flying club, you can use our scheduling system. It's up to your club if they're going to actually use it. We made the decision long ago that we're going to integrate with Google Calendars to provide scheduling. We did this because writing a schedule interface and putting it inside of an app is not the easiest of tasks to do well. And every pilot is already carrying around the best scheduling interface that has ever been made. And that is on your phone, whether it's an Android phone or an iPhone, you have a built-in calendar that already works well and you're already using. So you can integrate with the rest of your calendars. When you're looking to reserve your airplane, you can make sure you're not scheduling over one of your meetings that you already have scheduled at work or in your personal life if you're using your calendar. So we made this integration that talks in two directions with Google Calendar. So when you make the reservation, Pilot Partner already knows about it. This will work on your iPhone your iPad, and any Android device. And it works through shared Google calendars. So this means you do need a Google account in order for this to work. So if you don't have a Google account, you need to go sign up for one. But it does become a little bit more complicated if you're someone like me who actually has five or six different Google accounts I use for different reasons. So one pro tip, before you start this process on your computer, Make sure you log out of all your Google accounts and then log back into the primary account that you want to use this with Pilot Partner. Now, don't worry if you signed up for Pilot Partner without, with an email address that was different than your Google account. I did that myself. We allow you to enter the Google account that you want to use that's separate from the email address of Pilot Partner. So do make sure that you log out of all your accounts on the PC. It's okay that your phone might be have multiple Google accounts set up, but as long as you have the account that you're going to use. So that's where most people get tripped up. So to get started with this, you log into pilotpartner.net, and you have to do this step on the PC, so it's not available in the app. You go to your fleet, and then you select Schedule Setup. And when you go to the schedule setup, you'll see the option to change your email address just for this integration to your Google email. Now, if you signed in with Pilot Partner with your Google email, you don't have to change anything, but then you click the update Google email slash link account. Now, what happens here is this calendar that was created for each aircraft in your fleet was, is now shared with your Google account. So you now have access to it. It's not your calendar, but it's a calendar you now have access to view other reservations and make reservations on. Once you've done this, this allows you to see it on your computer. Now, for reasons that I do not understand why Google decided this, shared calendars are not synchronized to your mobile devices by default. So there's one extra step. And on this screen, there is a little help section that says an important step with a link that you have to click. You click this link to synchronize your calendars. This takes you to a page in Google, and this is a page that is not very friendly if you have multiple Google accounts signed in, so you can't switch between accounts. When you get here, you'll see the aircraft tail numbers of your fleet, you need to check those boxes and then click save. Within a few minutes, as long as you're signed in on your iPhone or Android device to this Google account, those calendars will now show on your main calendar app. 
So at this point, we are now fully integrated into the schedule and system. All we have to do is make a reservation. To make a reservation, you can use your computer and you can go to Google Calendars at calendars.google.com or you can use your iPhone. Uh, if you use your iPhone, iPad, any Android device, and you can use the built-in calendar app there, or you can also use uh, the Google app has uh, their own calendar app if you don't want to use your main phone. It's really a personal preference at this place. But any t place that you can access the Google Calendar from, you can now make a reservation. And making a reservation is simple. It's just like any other calendar event that you've created for any reason. If you want to fly at 2 p.m., you just highlight 2 p.m. and you want to fly to 6 p.m., just highlight that time block. And then in the event tile, put something that means something to you. Uh, Pilot Partner is going to recreate this event in a standard format, but it's going to use that event title as a way to communicate to the club so other people seeing it, what's going on. I recommend using your destination or the reason you're flying. You know, if you're doing flight training, just enter flight training. If you're doing just a local flight, enter local flight. Or if you're taking it for a weekend to go to New Orleans, put in weekend trip to New Orleans. Don't overthink it. Just put, put it there or leave it blank. It's not even required to be filled out. The most important thing that you need to do when you create one of these events to reserve an airplane is select which calendar it belongs to. That means select the tail number of the airplane that you're reserving. And you do that by selecting the calendar option here. What happens as soon as this event is created, the Pilot Partner API is notified of this new event and Pilot Partner will run the rule wizard on this new event. And one of two things is going to happen. Either this new event is valid and meets all the rules that your club has set up or it violates one of the rules. If it meets the rules, we're going to update the title to include your last name, first name, and the tail number, and we're going to put a two-letter code in front of it, either PR for primary reservation, BK if it's a backup reservation, or MX if it's a maintenance reservation. And then you're going to get an email confirmation letting you know that this reservation has been made for you and the status of it. If it violates one of the rules, Pilot Partner is going to automatically delete that event off the calendar. And then you're going to get an email explaining why or what rule was violated so that you understand that you do, you do not have a confirmed reservation uh, for the time that you requested. To cancel a reservation, you, don't, you cannot delete a reservation off the calendar. And this is another limitation in using Google because for reason, and reasons I just don't understand, Google did not provide enough context of who is actually deleting it in their API call that I could prevent other people from deleting items off the calendar. So if you delete something off the calendar, Pilot Partner is going to recognize that and just put it right back on there. So to cancel a reservation, you simply open the Pilot Partner app and all your confirmed reservations will be listed out. Select the reservation you want to cancel and then there's a cancel option in the app. Inside the app, you sw swipe to the left and it exposes the cancel button. You can also cancel your reservation from the fleet dashboard page inside our web app at pilotpartner.net. So you can cancel it in either direction um, and it would be right there at your fingertips. Um, so when you make a reservation, you will get those email confirmations so that you will know exactly what's happening. Uh, if you need to change your reservation, you can simply edit it and change the times or even the dates. I do recommend thinking about canceling and then recreating an event uh, under certain circumstances. So if you wanted to fly on Tuesday and then you want to move it to next week, just cancel that reservation and make the new one. Um, but it's really up to you. Whatever is the easiest for, for you, it all works. 
it is a natural calendar. So it works just like your calendar does, and you can invite people to as attendees to this calendar event. So if you're in flight training, simply create the reservation and invite your flight instructor. They will probably have their own Google calendar or their own calendar of some sort. Uh, if you have friends and family who want to be aware of when you're going to fly, you can invite them to that calendar. So now when you are going through your daily life, your flight reservation is going to be on your calendar and visible for you. For me, I like to see the uh, reservation on my Apple Watch. So it will show up because it's integrated into the default calendar. So all this becomes available with the Pilot Partner Reservation System, and this is included in all fleets. It's up to your fleet admin if they want to use this or have an alternative way to uh, do scheduling for aircraft.